Hi, everybody. Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, taking a look at race number 10 at Gulfstream Park on Saturday. It's the My Dear Girl division of the Florida Sire Stakes for two-year-old fillies. Let's take a look at this field. We're going a mile in the 16th, and the number five, R. Harper Rose, has been dominant throughout three starts. She's really never given her foes a chance in any of those races. Coming into this race, stretching out for the first time, she's got good speed. She does. She should make the lead in here, Dan. She's, she's the horse to beat uh, for sure in this race. It does just feel like maybe uh, these two divisions uh, of these stallion series for the boys and the girls, this feels like the tougher one. Let's throw up the time form U.S. pace projector. Mike mentioned R. Harper Rose's speed, and she's just not fast. She's sprint fast, and she should put that to good advantage, stretching out for the first time. She figures to make the lead. Looking at this pedigree on the face of it, though, a Kozan out of a yes, it's true mare, distance may be a little bit of an issue. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty big question, I think, in this race, Dan. Um, she did win by open lengths again last time when they stretched her up from five to seven, but her figure regressed significantly, and it's not like she was finishing full of run that day. The number one is Honey Dijon. This horse was no match for R. Harper Rose last time out, beaten four lengths in the Susan's Girl, going seven-eighths of a mile. Uh, she tried to rally from off of it. She draws inside here. Distance should be good for her. I'm expecting an improved performance. Yeah, me too. I mean, I she didn't make it that close last time. Dan. I thought she had some excuses, though, that day. Very awkward start for her. I felt like she lost position early in the race. She was wide around the track. She was easily second best when all was said and done um great post here for the stretch out tons of distance on the bottom of this pedigree too this is that uh you know versailles treaty sarland family on the bottom this horse is supposed to stretch out the fields of green is the number two this horse was third last time out in the susan's girl she has speed as well now i know time form us believes our harper rose is simply going to clear off i wonder if fields of green is going to have something to say about this mike because she's quick she's going to stretch out and she's another horse that might have some distance questions yeah i mean maybe they'll try it again here and that most recent start i mean they went to the lead with this horse last time and uh, our harper rose just walked right up on her on the back stretch and took over around the turn this horse listen she outran her odds for sure but she couldn't go with that horse the three is unrelentless this was a debut winner going three quarters of a mile against fellow florida breads did it from off the pace they ran her in the susan's girl and she just never threatened she looked flat at the quarter pole she looked a little bit green maybe the blinkers on will give her a bit more focus i could see you know maybe wanting to give her another chance in here again i thought her debut was fine she did not run well last time um, but maybe there's some kind of excuse coming out of it. David Fox keeps the faith. He comes right back uh, in the next uh, race for this series. He stretches her out a little bit. I, I can see her running better in this race. I can see the four haunt running a little bit better. I know she's a maiden. She's going to take the blinkers off for trainer Juan Alvarado. This was caught a muddy track in the debut at Gulfstream Park and R. Harper Rose. Last time out, a little bit of a layoff. No match for R. Harper Rose. Didn't change leads in any of those races is maybe taking the blinkers off will help. And another horse, I think distance will work, at least on the bottom of this pedigree. Needs a, a forward move here. Maybe we'll get it, Dan. They both start so far against R. Harper Rose. It just hasn't really um, been competitive with that horse so far. She needs to improve. Uh, maybe she can do it in here. I would want a pretty big price. Here's the number five, R. Harper Rose. She's the favorite in this race. She's odds on in all three of her prior starts. She didn't disappoint in any of them. Here's her victory in the Susan's Girl, where she beat five of these rivals. And she took over, as Mike mentioned, in the half. She ran right by Fields of Green. The pace was solid, and she kept on going. I, I really liked uh, the, the effort she put in here, Dan, especially early in the race, because it felt like they tried to take it away from her, and she just wasn't going to have it. You'll see her not be threatened through the stretch of this race but if she's not getting away from these horses either um on the outside that's honey dijon sort of easily getting in, into second though she never really threatened in here too um i don't know she's way the horse to beat in here but i didn't think she was you know a total lock her uncoupled stable mate the number six party pleaser both are trained by safi joseph comes into this race off of a victory two starts back on the synthetic that was a thirty-five thousand dollar maiden claimer even performance first start against winners now all four of those races have come on synthetic it'll be interesting to see how this one takes to the dirt she is a granddaughter of into mischief she's also a granddaughter of the turf stallion kitten's joy yeah i i, I don't know what to make of this horse and i Obviously, you're not going to bet her off of what she's done so far on the track. Maybe she'll be a dirt horse. I have no idea who this sire is. Um, the da on the damn side, it it's a lot of turf and it's not much talent. Dancing in Dixie's a bit of an enigma in here. The first two starts on dirt weren't great. The source switched 
to synthetic. She's now a stakes winner. Two for two after winning the R gear peg. Was it the surface or did this filly also appreciate stretching out around two turns in her most recent start? She's got a little bit of work to do going after this odds on bubbly champagne. She's eventually going to get by. It's not like she's finishing up great, but she's doing it and she's doing it at the distance. It's very game to get the job done here. She will jump to a wrong lead right as she hits the front here um, and gets the job done here. I, listen, her, they've stretched her out for her last two starts. She won both of them. The distance is no issue, and it could be a big advantage for her in this race coming back to dirt. I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue, Dan. I'm not sure how good that field that she just beat was. I know the, the runner-up was odds-on, but that horse has run all of her other starts outside that one are five and a half furlong races, and I'm just not sure that she's that good. Uh, but this horse looks like a major contender. Arena Mar completes the field. This horse is a maiden after two lifetime starts. In their debut, she fell far, far behind early. It's almost as if she still didn't really know what she was doing, and then she passed a few tired horses in the stretch. Last time out, no match for our Harper Rose. The blinkers go on. This barn occasionally will pull off a shocker or two. Yeah, true enough. Uh, I, I could keep an eye on this horse. The first two starts are sort of carbon copies, though. No speed at all, passing a couple horses late, but never really making her presence felt. Let's take a look at our top picks for the My Dear Girl. The horse to beat is our Harper Rose. We're going to try to beat her. You're going with Honey Dijon from the inside. Distance might make the difference. She should get a fair pace to attack. Yeah, she should be an okay price in here too, Dan. I, I thought she ran okay last time, maybe with some excuses. I, I like her stretching out for this race. Dancing and Dixie's likely going to have to deal with a faster pace than what she's faced in her last two on synthetic. That being said, I think she can tuck in mid-pack and hopefully make a run. I'm thinking the two might go after the five early and set things up. I'll go with Dancing and Dixie, who's two for two around two turns. Michael go with Honey Dijon, but the horse to be is our Harper Rose in the My Dear Girl at Gulfstream. Best of luck.